uh, so we're in July right now so this is an update on the latest Autofo root stocks uh, unfortunately the variety I was most excited about uh, which was the lemon zest which is kind of like this section right here all the way to the top all the fruitlets ended up dropping sadly I mean, I'm not really sure why it ended up dropping, but they all end up dropping. And the last hope on this is probably this branch right here, which had a late bloom, and there's a little bunch of fruit nuts on it. So that's kind of like the last hope. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, all the lemon zest dropped. The, the cow will be it. A lot of fruits are still hanging, but it did send out a second bloom. So a lot of the second bloom looks really good. Uh, some of the fruit list on the first bloom kind of looks misshapen. Looks like the, there'll be nubbins. But the second bloom on it, it looks really good. And there's a bunch of fruitlets on those already. Let's see. Like these right here. The shape looks right. And there's quite a few of them. So, uh, let's see, there's quite a few more blooms and fruitlets, so it's all looking pretty good. Uh, let's see what else I was going to show you guys. Oh, there's a few grafts I had here for a couple years now, and it hasn't bloomed, so I think it's because of the shading. So, this is a pina colada. Look at this. Really, really incredible growth. And nice, uh, nice leaves on it. This is a pina colada, and then I have a sweet tart right here. That's going again. Didn't bloom this year, but I think that is due to the shade. What else I got right here? This is a. Uh, oh, this is supposed to be a kill savoy, but. Uh, I'm, I'm having some doubts due to the due to the leaves, but we'll see. Uh, and there's a Tom Pecan right there, wrapped it. And see, we go back here. I have some, I have like a cat right here, another peanut colada, a tiny ice cream draft in the back right here. And then another pina colada. But again, this is a bit too shaded out. Uh, eventually, I might do some heavy pruning on the top, removing a lot of the top limbs off of it. All right, that's an update on tree four and five. Uh, this is an update on tree number two. Uh, lots of stuff going on here. Uh, let's see, let's start out with the Laverne Manila. Lots of fruitlets on here. Let's see. But again, I could tell these are really nubbins. Uh, let me show you guys. It's beginning to develop this kind of spotting and roughening on the skin, which kind of indicates it's about to get mature and the seed husk will probably get uh, hard soon. So. We'll probably end up picking this in another couple weeks. Absolutely no embryo on it. good thing about these uh, Laverne Manilas is even at this size, there's no off layers in the skin. Everything's pretty edible. So that's why I, I grow it for the green, uh, eating it green and mature like this. 
and you know there's some varieties where the skin is really really just bad tasting this has really edible skin there's no no odd astringency or bad flavoring to it so again these need to be picked probably pretty soon in the next couple of weeks before the seed husk gets um, hard once the seed husk gets hard it's uh, I would say it's not as good eating anymore but again like something this size should have an embryo already but these ain't, these don't have any embryos Again, you can see all these kind of spotting and roughening of the skin. That's a, kind of like an indication of like early maturing. And the seed husk getting hard, and then it's not really going to increase in size anymore. So this is the cabinet, which is uh, looking pretty good too. It's not like super loaded, but there's uh, quite a bit of fruits. Quite a bit of fruitlets and all look pretty good. You know, a healthy one is kind of this long slender fruit like this. So there's quite a few of those. There's even some that's really quite large already. There, so looks, looks like a pretty good year so far. There's more of the fruitlets. The tail, it's uh, has an embryo just because of this nice kind of long length that looks regular. There's no no odd shape to them. You know, it's not like oval or roundish or anything like that. So looks pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, the Super Julie seems to have dropped uh, quite a bit of fruits. Kind of drops. Oh. Oops, excuse me for that. I was just chatting with the neighbors. So, this is a kind of an update on Super Julie. Lots of it just fell. I don't really know why, but the ones that did fell they didn't seem like they were uh, healthy fruits. They were all kind of had no embryo but lots of it most of it all just kind of abort it and it's still beginning to abort even like something like this size look at this don't really know why I mean I, I think it's because of the nubbins and they're just aborting but you know from like hundreds and hundreds of fruit there might be a couple dozens left like some of this looks healthy so that's an update on Super Julie. Uh, this is a uh, Maha Chinook. So Maha looks really good. There's even some larger size one already. So Maha looks really good. And this is tree number three. So. Uh, this is pretty much all California vermeer. Uh, I just made some grafts just in the last week. So there's some Iman Passan, uh, this section right here is like Julie and then a Juliet. So my plan is like once a lot of fruits on this is gone, I'm going to be like pruning it way back, like major limb removal and then, uh, and then graft other varieties onto it but uh, not not like a, a bumper crop of fruits but still quite pretty good uh, look at it. here's all the fruitlets look at this here's all the fruitlets you know and they look like very healthy fruits like the size is right uh, so they're not gonna be like any kind of nubbins so there's quite a few more so, and then there's still some kind of blooms coming out too on a lot of these. All right. And this is tree number 
one, and I'll probably go over all the varieties with you guys this time. Uh, we're pretty much almost done with Nam Duck Mine number four, but the squirrels did get to quite a few of them. You can see, like, you know, squirrels just kind of destroying the fruit, that's the black stuff here. But, uh, yeah, this is tree number one. I uh, made some recent grass in the last week, and I guess the weather's just been really great and fine because everything is pushing even after one week uh, like a week or two of graft so this was made on the 16th and uh, you can see this right here it's Dupree Saigon and it's pushing this is a Fallon also made like two weeks ago pushing pretty heavily and let's see everything's just growing growing really well there's a CAC uh, there's a pickering that's pushing. I was also grafted two weeks ago. This is a maha. So the maha right here is branched quite a bit, pushing quite a bit. So it's really nice to see this because it hasn't really grown much the last few years that I grafted this. And just right now it's just everything's just flushing. Everything's just looking really, really great. So uh, this is CAC right here. Uh, let's see what else? Uh, Creme brulee. I got a sunrise back here. There's a uh, cotton candy right here. What else is there? Quite a few. I have like maybe about 20 graphs on here. There's a sugar loaf right here, and then it's a uh, this is a uh, galbamit from uh, Cambodia from June. Uh, it's Super Judy right here. I think this is a uh, peach cobbler right here. So what else is there? Harvest Moon. Uh, pineapple Pleasure right here. This one right here is uh, ST Maui. Uh, here's a Kesa. Glad that this one's pushing because my other plant, I don't think it's going to make it. Uh, this is a sweet tart right here. And then I grafted some orange sherbet. And some orange sherbet here that's been grafted. So there's another maha. And then the sweet tart. Uh, this funny pushing, which is a, uh, what is it called? A, uh, Kao Chun from Kao Chun from uh, Cambodia. And another sweet tart. So let's see what is this back here? Like a long duck my win. So there's quite a few graphs and everything's really doing well. So that's the long duck mine number four. There's some fruit let's from the California Remit. Um, this right here is uh, a Laverne Manila seedling. Uh, I just been calling it Alec from uh, my cousin that we see it from. This is a unusual variety, at least for me, because I grafted this back in 2021 and I could say that it has not bloomed. It bloomed, had a sparse bloom, bloom last year. Again, this year it didn't bloom. It's very kind of unusual variety. Uh, I, I think I'm a bit more interested in it now for its inability to bloom than actually the fruit. The fruit is actually like a, a very long 7-8 inch fruit that's fiberless but it tastes like a Laverne Manila. It's just a fiberless long Laverne Manila fruit. And look at the leaves on here, it's huge. Huge and long, like, like very elongated leaves. So. Let's see, it's an interesting variety to test out.
uh, I gra I began grafting it at other trees to see uh, to see if it has kind of has that same kind of tendency not to bloom. It might be a good one to kind of help reinvigorate like you know trees that ain't doing well that's blooming too much. So that's just an experiment so far on this. And just a few a few fruits here. Let me just pick one. I've just been getting these small, small non duck mai fruits with uh, an aborted embryo. Like most of the fruits was like that this year. Okay, well, thanks everyone. That's an update for now.